Okay, so here we are. Twice a day for a week. We're going to open her up and stir them around. We're going to break the cap. Today's Wednesday. So we're gonna rack it off tomorrow because we did it on Thursday. Hi, good morning. This is Eric. This is my apple pie wine. Unscrew the lid. Bubbling beautifully. Look at that. Mix it. Break our little cap. Got about two more days. Today's Monday. Thank you. Alright, so this is the apple wine. And here's the coffee in the one gallon carboy. This is the second day after I put it in the carboy. It's bubbling nicely. Everything's working out well. So now we're going to take the apple wine, put it into, rack it into a nice new clean bucket just because it's kind of dirty. I didn't uh, fully uh, take out all the sediments and whatnot the last time. So I'm going to do that this time. So what I'm doing is getting myself set up like so. We're going to put a strainer over it. It's a cloth, nice clean shirt. Further out. That's the same shirt you used last time, huh? That's right. We're going to use this as our strainage shirt. It's clean every time in between uses. It goes right into the laundry. So now we got that. And we got this. Keep everybody in good shape. Take the lid off. Smells good. Looks fine. I'm going to put our hydrometer right into the liquid. And if you could pass me that real quick, and I'll hand it back to you. All right. So now we have our hydrometer floating in the mix. And it's right at the uh, this blue gray area, which is telling me 10. It's in the finish uh, zone. And it's 5 on that one. And that's going to be just fine. All right, here you go. Careful, Art. Careful. Thank you. Let's do this. Alright. So now, get my siphon in here. And put our hose through the handle into the strainer. Get ourselves a nice flow going. We suck the raisin up. Oh yeah, it happens. As long as it's flowing, that's okay. So what we have in here is approximately three to three and a half gallons. How much does the bucket hold? Uh, it's a five gallon bucket. It looks to be about three gallons to me. I could be <coughs> mistaken. But now the system here is just to allow it to do its thing. We've got about maybe 10 to 15 minutes of time. 
this process to pan out. And I'm probably going to take this bucket and bring it down to the floor where the gravity will be moving it at a much quicker pace. Okay. Okay, so here's our apple wine. Um, halfway through the siphoning process, this is actually going to be the third time because I didn't clean it out very well the second the, into the second bucket. So I'm doing that now just to get a nice smooth wine. This is actually its second week. It's fully into its second week and starting its third week of process. And that's just fine. Keep that flow going. Okay, so here's our apple wine. It's a nice little cider, light and uh, slightly sparkling. Bottom of the must. And then there's about three to three and a half gallons in there. This is again. We're starting into our third week. I'm going to put the lid on it and let it do its business for at least another two weeks. Maybe we'll have some on the Thanksgiving holiday. So here we have the very last bottom of the apple wine. The bottom of the barrel. It's as clear as we're getting it at this point. Who knows what the final product will be from the bucket. We'll see. Enjoy.